welcome back to my channel. My name is Robin. If you are new here, welcome. So for today's look, I'm going to be doing a smoked out cranberry look. So just a little backstory. I was walking around Target today, just browsing around in their cosmetic department or whatever. And I came across this line that I've never even heard of. I don't know if they're new or, you know, whatever. I just haven't heard of them. Um, but it's called Makeup Obsession London. And again, you know, I've never heard of it or whatever. Maybe I'm just not paying attention to all the makeup lines because there's so many. But anyway, um, I saw a couple palettes. They had like some primers. They had some highlighters and all that kind of stuff. You know, the, the whole deal. So I was literally drawn to this one palette. And I'm going to show you the packaging and the reason why I was drawn to it. Just look. Like, ah, uh, like this is gorgeous. Like, I am like this is the correct word like I am obsessed like the palette is called be obsessed I am obsessed already just with the packaging I haven't even looked inside I'm just like I want that I don't care what's inside <laughs> give it to me but anyway so I'm gonna be playing with uh two or three different shades um in this palette and um so here are the shades very very pretty um I'm probably gonna be playing with these top two I know you can't really see it um just because they uh, it's written in white, but the names are underneath the pens here. But I'll be telling you guys the colors that I'm going to be working with. So I'm really excited for this look. I know I'll probably say that in every video, but I really am excited about making this, you know, look come alive. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So as you guys can see, my brows are done. I've already set them with the baking powder. So we're just going to jump right into it. So with this one, I am going to go in with the shade here called Love. I'm just, I have a, uh, BH Cosmetics um, eyeshadow brush. So I'm going to go ahead and start swirling that in just like that. Just packing that right on the brush. I'm going to take my little mirror here and I'm just going to go right in. This is going to be my transition shade. So I'm going to go ahead and go in start making that. Again, we're going to be doing our one shell wiper motion with our brush. Oh, very pretty. Well, that's a very pretty shade. A very that's a good transition shade for sure. And of course, we're going to be going closer to the brow bone just to give it that more smoked look. Go ahead and finish that up here. All right, so now that I have my transition shade built up to my brow bone, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Passion, which is this shade right here. Kind of like um, a dusty rose or more like a, a rusty color. So we're gonna take that one, go ahead and pack that on our um, eyeshadow brush. And this is the BH Cosmetics number six brush. The first brush that I use is also from BH Cosmetics and it's their number five brush. So, but of course I'll have everything listed down below in the description box. So I'm gonna go ahead and start packing this on my lid. And these colors blend extremely well, um, very smooth, not a lot of fallout, which is what I like. I love that. I can't stand for a lot of, you know, a lot of fallout. I mean, I understand some, but, you know, not too much. So I'm going to go ahead and finish packing that on the lid. So I have that passion shade on my lid. I believe now I want to actually go in just because these two colors are very, very close. So you can't really tell the difference between the two. I mean, it's a little lighter down here, um, but I want to go in with this more mauve color down here. Um, that one right there, this is called Avid. So I'm going to take that on that same BH Cosmetics number five brush and I'm going to swirl that in there. Um, and I'm going to go back in my transition um, back in uh, the transition part and I'm just gonna 
try to darken that up just a hair. Alrighty, so uh, eyeshadow is done. That kind of darkened up the look just a little bit, just in the transition shade, um, which I like a little bit better. So now I'm going to go in with my wing eyeliner from e.l.f. Um, and then this is in the shade Jet Black. So I'm going to go ahead and start making my line. Alrighty, so wing liner is done and I already threw on my lashes. So I never do this, but I'm going to go ahead and do me some black um, eyeliner just, you know, to kind of add like a little special effect, I guess. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Line my bottom lid. I haven't done this in so long. Like what, back when I was in like high school, middle school, like if I didn't have on anything else, I would have on some liner. Alrighty, so now that that part is done, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the face. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Professional Honey Do Me Up Primer. Um, so what I have noticed is the more that I wear like um, drying products um, on my skin, I'm actually starting to like literally take the moisture out of my skin. So I'm still, I still get a little oily like on my nose, chin, and kind of forehead, but as far as like, you know, my cheek area um, and kind of like right above my eyebrow and my lids, like I get really, really dry. So I'm going to start probably buying combination makeup like for oily and dry skin um, because I do not want my skin to be, you know, so dry where I have to like, um, you know, count on, you know, moisturizing makeup, you know, to help me. I've always had, you know, pretty good skin, you know, as far as like hydration and everything. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start with this. Just place this on my skin. And this literally smells so good. Um, I love the smell of, um, like a really clean, um, product. This just smells like um, what do you call it? Essential oils. It smells so good to me. Very smooth, very easy to apply. But yeah, I think I'm going to start buying more combination um, products for my skin. Alrighty, so primer is on. Um, now I'm gonna, um, I actually picked up another new um, product. This is the NYX Professional. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop um, foundation. I'm hoping, like fingers crossed that I have, that I picked, you know, a good shade because I, I really didn't know and they had it all packaged up. They didn't have like a, a test me or, you know, whatever the try me things are. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put some on the back of my hand and it's not that bad but um I was swatching <laughs> other makeup earlier so I think this may work I think I did pretty good okay whatever it blended really nice wow this is my first time I've heard good things about this um foundation so um this is a full coverage foundation so I'm gonna go ahead and start 
placing that on my face. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need. That may be a little bit too much, but we'll see. Go ahead and start blending that out. I'm gonna take my Sonia Cashew blending um, beauty blender. This thing is huge, like freaking huge. I'm gonna go ahead and start blending that in. Okay, it's not that bad. Oh wow, that is very good coverage. Jeez, that's good. This is very lightweight. Um, very lightweight uh, foundation. Cause I've had some foundations where it's just freaking heavy and thick on the skin. It's something you definitely don't want to wear um, during summertime. You know, a, a heavy foundation, but. This one here would be good during the summertime, but like my MAC foundation that, you know, you can tell, you know, is on the skin. No. I mean, if I have to wear my MAC foundation, I will during the summer. Like if I don't have like literally anything else, I will wear it. But like for an all day, everyday thing, no. Wow, this is really good. First time trying it out. So my, the shade that I got in this one is going to be, I think I got the deep, yeah, the deep ridge. Um, that's the shade that I used. This is really good. Blend so nice. Alrighty, so now that foundation is blended out, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my NYX, also the Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer. Um, and the shade that I got was Cappuccino. And I tried to get, I was trying to think of something while I was there in Target, something that was really close to my LA Girl Pro Concealer, the shade Fawn, which I don't think I did that bad. It, it's pretty close. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Very nice applicator, doe foot applicator, very big. I don't know if I just smelled that. But anyway, I'm going to go in with the back of my Sonia Kashuk blending um, beauty blender. I don't know why I keep messing that up today. Beauty blender, beauty blender. <laughs> go ahead and blend this out. So, so far, I'm extremely pleased on how everything blended out so well. Like, wow, that's really nice. I like it. So, now that that's all blended in, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Baking Powder and bake under the eyes. Okay, so while that's baking, I'm gonna go in, of course, with my Black Radiance Contour Palette. Take the sculpting shade, which is that middle shade. Okay, so now that my baking is sitting, my contour is sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and go back in, of course, cause I wanna smoke out my under eye. And I'm gonna go in with that uh, love shade right here. I'm gonna go back in with a thinner brush and just smoke that out. Oh, not that one, this one. Um, this is my Morphe, I believe this is a Morphe brush. Uh, I'm just gonna swirl that in there like that. And go ahead and smoke out that lower lid. Okay, so now that I've smoked it out, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. point tip powder brush and dust away my baking. I really like this br brush because like, you know, like it says, it's pointed. so. 
it really gets in the small areas. Go ahead and dust that away. Okay, so now that that's all wiped away, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline New York um, mascara. This is gonna be the last sensational. Um, I have the color, I'm pretty sure this was like black or whatever, but it's just, um, I love this brush too. That's a really nice brush. I'm gonna go in and dust my lower lashes. So now that I have my mascara done, um, just to let y'all know, I did go in with a second coat from the Rimmel London Wonderfully Real Mascara. That is a mouthful, y'all. <laughs> Try to say that five times. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, um, I took both of these. So I am basically trying new products today, um, but I'll have everything listed down below in the description. So now I'm going to take my Milani um, Rose Blush. This is in the shade um, Wild Rose. And I, I love this, this is so pretty. So I'm gonna go in with my um, Wet n Wow blush brush. Go ahead and swirl that on my cheeks. I like how sheer it is. It almost gives it like a highlight, a highlighter look. And then now I'm gonna go in with my highlight. All right, and I'm also gonna be taking the highlight from Milani. Um, I have not used this just yet, but it is so, so pretty. Um, this is in the shade 120 Champagne. I do not know how to say that D word back there, but is Dioro maybe, I'm not sure. Um, and I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics. This is the number three brush. Just get some of that on the back of the brush. Oh, that's really pretty. Wow. Oh, that's really pretty. All right, so last thing is I'm gonna go in with my NYX lip pencil. Um, this is in the shade Vintage. It's very pretty, so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. Alrighty, so lips are lined and I'm gonna go in with the NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Cranberry Pie. Um, I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand just so you guys can see. So that is it right here. Very pretty. Mm. Oh, that's so soft. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Oh, that's very pretty. I like that. I was a little hesitant with buying this because I don't always wear color on my lips. It's normally like a, a very light color, but I really like this. Wow. All right, NYX, y'all are doing all thing. Mm. I like that, not bad. Um, so, that pretty much ties in the look. Just kidding, I almost did it again. <laughs> I need to set my face. Okay, hold on. 
<laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline New York um, Lasting Fix. I'm just gonna set my um, face with this. Okay. Alrighty. So now that is the final look. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them down below and I will get to them. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I will greatly appreciate it. Um, you guys can follow me at my social media. My Instagram is I am Robin Chisholm, same as my YouTube name. And my Snapchat, if you want to follow me there, is going to be Robin with the underscore Y. Again, thank you guys for coming back for another video once again. Please be safe, take care of yourselves, and just be blessed. Have a good day. Bye y'all.